when Gandalf <laughs> when Gandalf falls off the bridge. Fuck! And also, thank for that resub, Pitsy. Welcome back to that part around. All you gizmo. <laughs> Run, you fucking fools! I wouldn't scratch a band end off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. Without Fister, he's just a fist now. Dr. Faustus, smartest fanatic of the room. It's a Hydra's small room. Resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. <laughs> I like that one, Claw. Magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <laughs> yeah, Barcane. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. You shall not f Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Kill them. You shall not fucking fist. Would have surely exploded uh, otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Okay. Can't shoot the. Mm. I've never masturbated. I don't know what you're speaking of. Yeah, it's the people who made the Marvel game, uh, the uh, XCOM games. Bunch of motherfuckers in this game and this roof. That's not supposed to hurt. Okay. A scratch. They are hoping to wear me down. Hostile reinforcements inbound. Did they really need more guys? I feel like they didn't. There's a lot of rage-inducing shit in those, uh, 
those games. Can we, like... So we need to get rid of as many of these motherfuckers as we can. Get ready. I don't, I mean, so I'm not a, I haven't played a ton of these games, but I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, Katie played that on stream a couple years ago, and it seemed cool. Lucky shot. Yeah, I think, I feel like uh, Zeke played that on stream one uh, Indie Saturday or whatever, or Indie Sunday at that point. Bruce, I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. The light will heal you. So does this draw me two cards because we overhealed? That should help. Oh crap. No, we don't want to do that. And then we want to knock. Go, Captain Marvel, go! I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. No, I don't think you, I read something about not being able to skip animations. Mal, what's up, buddy? My regards in hell. That was your one chance. Oh. I don't think you're that right. was your one chance. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not smash it. Yes. And K O. I like it because of the card element gives it more than just the tactical, you know, the XCOM game. It's an added layer there. They, de they have, like, certain conditions you have to meet, Odious. You're not missing, like, an XCOM, no. But you can't always use the cards. Get her. Get her. That wasn't very enthusiastic. A guitar. A guitar. Okay. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that. Thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your yeah. adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with. So 
Yeah, you're you're adding too many layers of uh, RNG at that point. Hey, Elijah. If we move here, we can hit him into the other one. Yeah, I'm not usually into these. Like, I haven't played a whole lot of these type of games is really what I should put it. But this seems cool so far. Uh, can we get you over here? No. Can I knee strike you? Can. There's no way Hydra's medical plan can cover the beating we're about to put on you. Playing three Captain Marvel cards will draw the Go Binary ability, and her Binary State Captain Marvel deals significantly more damage. Okay, cool. Mm. One more time. Yeah, I have, I'm already enjoying it more than I was worried about. I was worried about not liking it all that much. I have, like, the Gears of War one, and I was enjoying it. I just wasn't playing it off stream. It takes a lot for me to actually get into a game off stream. I need things like it's actually kind of why I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing Bra Breath of the Wild off stream, and I could play it in little chunks, which is what I like about it. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown. Do we need it? Unknown to you, there is dark magic at work here. Okay, we are. We must not let Hydra escape with it. Don't blink. Whoa. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. It's like. It's easier to stream like this, you know? I'm still in my prime. Yeah, I understand that, Claw. Yeah, I think I keep getting st stuff hitting with my fucking, uh... Oh, my health is low, too. They really want to get on Why are they all going after me, man? It's like a gangbang over here. I am a wall. Okay. It's crystal clear. We won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. 
Fucking idiot. No, I meant to fucking... I didn't mean to fucking, uh... I thought it was Captain Marvel moving. I meant more I'm an idiot. Go, Blade, go! Getting there. Slow. Jesus Christ, man. I need one of her fucking healing cards. I have to redraw some cards. Doesn't help my heat. My my character's like the one with healing. Okay, can we heal now? You could also throw cards back. draw yeah well arcane I'm gonna eventually play like a dragon when chat doesn't hate me playing Yakuza games No, I gotta play six first. I'm playing, uh. Take this. And that taunts him, so he won't. I am almost dead. Okay. The reinforcements don't attack yet, so. How come I have none of my fucking heal cards, man? Jesus Christ, this guy won't fucking die. Die, bitch.
We have we have Yakuza six, like a dragon, and Lost Judgment left. Oh, I had to gr I have to Additional grab the thing. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Come get it. I just have to finish them off, okay. There's there's a lot of Yakuza Yakuza things. I understand, Odious. Okay. Welcome, assistant. Go. Your mother abandons you. We've done it. Man, you guys are not happy with this game selection, huh? <laughs> what is this thing? Bad guy crate. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. Well, Don't cross the streams. Happen. See for ourselves. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit, Arcane. I mean, no game is for everyone, right? So that's what we all know. No game is for everyone. True, Arcane, true. They're my friends. Out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The eternal spirits of vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Oh, out of jail again. Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, parking <laughs> is free. Clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. They gotta be my friends. Should rest another time. No, I want to play Monopoly. Yeah, fucking ancient cunt. I do have a hellhound. Let me see. How did this work again? Where did my puppy just disappeared? How do I respond to her? Oh. You like a good butt. You answered. It's getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Never could give up the mini games, oh, Arcane. Is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of a stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, magic. 
From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot. I of never work got to the do. cheek piercings. Work. Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff, or quasi human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now, one of us. Nico, I was just hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I uh, keep seeing Wanda. I don't get up. I, I mean, I, I'm not saying whatever with them, but it's just like, it's not my thing. Never mind. There's a lot of piercings I don't like, but. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside. Just like that. We'll it's pierced really through the cheek. Over that forge or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Wintergreen? Yeah, power to them. How do I get these arcane keys? Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well... We can see. All the way through, Claw. We've, I've never... I know this entire situation's gonna suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I Yowza. don't know why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Someday, Yowza. I'll do anything to make that happen. Yowza! Even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. <laughs> uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can you do it again? So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I am not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. I like how she's got a collar on like she's like her mother's puppy dog. Of everything. <laughs> Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. Claw, when so, are you streaming again? Do you know everything? No, I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know oh, about nice. me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like... What's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but Something first, about all the way through. The, the staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. Uh, I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, Poopies. I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your old team. Ah. The runaways? Yes, it is, our game. Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. Just the tip. <laughs> Just First, the tip. Our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. 
Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. Just a tip. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality. Here goes Gizmo. You know, typical kid stuff. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. Aw, poor Gert. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As Kiss the tip. Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. Can you tell me how the staff... It's uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true, uh, kind of, and not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. That's like a really weird power set. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your free time, but looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. Oh, no. Not quite like it was in the good old days. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know. Agatha. She's no longer with us. It was Agatha all along. That is impossible. She was so fierce, indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. It was Agatha all along. The loss could not have been easy for you. Spoilers, my Thank butt. You for that. But it's not just There's mine. no it's reference to what I'm talking about, Claw. And what makes this loss even harder to accept is that it was completely avoidable. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege. Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. And there was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum. To study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Mm -hmm. 
Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time I had no Agatha to help me. As I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Oh, no. Oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. I'm a I'm on the light path. Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Charlie. No, Charlie, I want to pet you. Char Charlie. Charlie, I want to pet you. Char Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, I want to pet you, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> God, I'm obnoxious. Charlie said no. No soup for you. Man, what was in that fucking popcorn? I'm seeing shit. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's Why does it look like Rachel McAdams? The first to commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> I, is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. I don't know. Though it's no trick. First to see me. By now you probably because I turned it down before because it was too loud at first. Your body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride, even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You I'm sorry, the Arcane. I didn't want you to have to read. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Reading? I barely do it, Arcane, so it's okay. Agatha. It was Agatha all along. Yes, Agatha what Christie. What is it, Charlie? Find something? I've already lost Agatha. Well, it was good knowing you, Agatha. Oh, there she is. Murder, she wrote. It was murder. It was murder. looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood oh gate. shit Caretakers you can only go through it on your period <laughs> yes Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda hot fuzz is wonderful something of a habit for her I have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know I am I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Recommended player level one. How would you have not leveled up? Is it? 
There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. It was this murder! arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah? Caretaker was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. <sighs> trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. And this is my challenge. Yes, but I may have. It found looks like the swords, the elf considered. swords from Lord Why of the Rings. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend, Charlie? Charlie? Yeah, Charlie. The Jesus. The gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Ooh, oh, fucking hell. As mm. the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Why is it doing that? Like... I go, impressed. Charlie, go! Oh. You were too weak for this fight. I, here, I'll turn down the voice in a little bit. I'm sorry, Arcane. Our team is falling apart. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. What is it fucking doing? Oh, I know, I know what you meant. Your mother abandons you. Feel my call. You had your chance. No, like, it was mad about my fucking, uh, controller, and I don't fucking understand it. Imagine my 
If I didn't know better, I would say she modeled her role as caretaker after the goddess herself. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. It apparently doesn't like me switching back and forth between controller and mouse and keyboard. Zelda's upstairs being a loud now. I should have done the settings, but I was thinking combat and... I hear it's not very good for controlling in the the third person sections, which is why I wasn't doing it. Okay. Options. Sound. So we're gonna turn. Then we're going to turn this back down a little bit. Okay, let me know how that works out, Arcane. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. Your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can. Is that loud enough? The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, of blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. Okay. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you. But their blessings can be quite useful in the audio mixing in these games is fucking bonkers, man. What it really is. The goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with I haven't touched the mixer. There. She believes in our purpose. <laughs> After all this time, it's like a super it's still wedgie. Just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. Okay. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the never ending the joys of adjusting because of stream of course, games no being different. That they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. Yeah. And now I'm rambling on like an old sorcerer supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. That doesn't seem shady or anything. Good night, Hunter. Yeah.
Hey, Charlie, Wally, puppy face. Pet the dog. Wabba, well, what's up, buddy? What you doing, Charlie? Pet the dog. How you doing, Wabba? Well, good to see you, buddy. I mean, it's a hellhound. I'm, I just said it was a hellhound. I didn't say it was Cerebrus. Uh, this thing on. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, Strange out. Let's go talk to Strange. We're going to wrap up pretty soon, but... Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate. The very one, though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I feel we are all in grave danger. Spooky box. Still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. <laughs> or we Only way to be sure, nuke something. it from orbit. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. I have Second no idea, boss. Arcane. We desperately need to get into this crate. Why is all this shit just like... What is this? Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off than ours. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. It's pretty uh, porny, Zoe. Gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever is in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Yeah, his back's going back. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, anyway. I'm not expecting any difference with this one. Hoary hosts of Hoggoth. I, I can hardly believe it. What? Shit it blew up. Expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. 
These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or holy shit, they the did. eternity dagger. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers? The cube of nothingness, the tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You uh had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath. <laughs> oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. A simple object, though certainly not useless. You know, I really could do just as well without you loitering back there. How else am I going to steal your secrets if I can't see what you're up to? I have always found that area of research interesting. What have you got for me, boss? Analyzing that. Can we already analyze this thing? How does this look? Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? What do, what do you mean enhance? Later. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to save it in a second. Oh, I'm going to save it now. I got to go do a couple things before bed. Uh, let us go and raid the KTP. 